Today I'm coming to you from an Ashton Woods community that is fairly new in Deltona, and this is called Hampton Oaks. And I'm gonna be showing you two model homes. This is one of them. This is from their Manor series. I'm really impressed by these windows. And I'll show you one from their traditional series, which is located right next door. And as we go through these two homes, I'll be telling you about Ashton Woods and about this community. So stick around. <music> film a little bit outside because the sky is so pretty tonight. What's really important about this community, I think, uh, is that it is just three minutes away from I-4. So you are really, really close to being able to get to Orlando, to Lake Mary, if you work along that corridor there. Um, but we're also pretty much halfway between Orlando and like New Smyrna Beach or Daytona Beach. So for those of you who cannot decide between the beach and the parks, this is actually not a bad location for you. Here we are in Hampton Oaks and they are currently in the first phase of two phases that will have 259 homes available. Now what's kind of special about this is some of the lots are as large as 90 feet wide, which is pretty unusual in Central Florida. The first home that we're going to look at is the Badland model, and this is what they call a traditional style home. So these are the lowest priced models available. They're going to start in the low 300,000s, and these traditional style homes will be on 55 foot wide lots. There are also homes available on 65, 75, and as mentioned, 90 foot wide home sites, but those are going to be what they call the manor style homes. All the homes offered by Ashton Woods come with gutters, which is also somewhat unusual, and they uh, provide a dishwasher, a microwave, and a stove. And as I've talked about in some of my other videos, getting appliances is kind of a problem right now for some builders, and many builders have kind of cut back on what they're offering. So this is a fairly standard package at the moment. Similarly, the model homes show that the homes come with sliding doors, but those have been replaced in production with French doors, simply because the builder was no longer able to source sliding doors in a reasonable amount of time. I think they said it was taking something like 38 weeks to get sliding doors and nobody was able to, of course, wait that long. So they have switched them out to French doors. So even though this home is what they consider to be a more simple product, you see there is a generous island in the middle, a lot of great living space, especially in this room. There's a really broad, nice uh, den area and they even have room for a writing desk in the corner and we'll finish up by checking out the master bedroom in a moment. When you purchase an Ashton Woods home, it's not one of those situations where you're going to a design studio and facing the challenge of pulling together what tiles you want in each room. You, you choose from different packages and these are the collections that they are currently offering. Now we're gonna check out the Griffin model home, which is one of the manor plans that Ashton Woods is offering. This isn't the largest square footage that's available. The largest is actually the Duval, which will be all the way up to 3,897 square feet. But you will see that this home really does feel very, very large. I don't know the square footage of this model home. This ranges in size from 3,000 to 3,600 square feet, and it can have anywhere from four to six bedrooms. So if you want a six bedroom home, uh, the dining room that we've just passed would be converted into a bedroom. Um, and that is a design choice that you could make if you were to choose a Griffin model. Of course, this room right here with these amazing windows is what sold me on this layout. It's really, really impressive when you walk in to that two-story open room with windows on both floors. It just is so bright and light. 
And this is of course more of a gourmet kitchen with the wall ovens and the flat cooktop. And then you have a butler's pantry next to it. And straight ahead is the dining room, which would again be converted into a bedroom if you were to need to have extra bedrooms uh, over dining area. There are currently 11 homes that will be ready by May of this year, but if you want to build your own and make your own design choices and choose your own model and select your own lot, you're looking at about an eight to 10 month wait. The HOA fee for Hampton Oaks will be $800 per year and it will include a community playground and this is not a gated community. Now I've said this in many of my other videos, but it's worth repeating. I don't work for Ashton Woods. I don't work for any home builder. I'm an independent realtor. And if you would like to have my help, I will put my contact information on the screen, but it's also always available below any video. If you're watching this on a cell phone, you just have to click on the title of the video and all of that will appear. If you wanna to talk to me about any of these houses or moving to Central Florida, there's always a link to a Zoom call you can set up with me and then you'll have my undivided attention and we can talk about your upcoming move and get you started. Here's some more of that beautiful sunset. <laughs> 